it's time to build. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Sky Factory 2.5. That's right, we are in a modded sky block, and this is a new modded adventure. Let's take a look in F3. Actually, we can see in our top right corner, we're in a plains biome, but it looks kind of like a Botania Garden of Glass in terms of the overall uh, situation here. So I am standing on top of a tree. I've got a few books in my inventory, including, let's see, Materials in You, Volume 1. That is from Tinker's Construct. All right, so we got that achievement. Good. Uh, world Domination with Open Blocks. Okay. Okay, and then this one right here is the achievement book. So here we go. I'm not going to read this for you, but it's a mod pack by Bacon Donut Sky Factory 2.5, and it is available on the Feed the Beast and Curse launchers. And I am running it through Curse, and you can see a list of the mods in the description box below if I have managed to remember to do that. So uh, right here is an achievement book. It's not a hardcore quest pack. It is just a list of suggested things to go through to kind of lead you through the various uh, starting starting quests, if you will. It's not really quests, but anyway, we're not going to be getting any achievement bags or anything like that. We're just going to be working through uh, modded Minecraft and... One of the mods, well, let's uh, let me let me tell you what we got to get into first, or what we're working towards first, and then we'll continue chatting. Okay, so first thing we got to do is get an actual. Ooh, what is that? Okay, nothing right there. All right, I got my inventory anyway. So the first thing we got to do is get a sapling. Got a sapling. Okay, so what we're going to do now is work our way down. And does it seem that the sounds are correct? I'm not sure if they are. So everything that stands between us and certain destruction is this tree and a piece of dirt below it. All right, so what we're going to do now is grab a bunch of planks. And we're going to get us a, a uh, crafting bench. And then what we're going to do is make some of these. Uh, what are they? The slabs. Okay, and we'll take down the crafting bench like so. And I am using my pinky like there's no tomorrow. And what we're going to do here is put a, a slab right there. And then we're going to drop down to there. Slab, slab. Okay, and so we're we're going to work on making this place a little bit safer because this is disconcerting to say the least. There is nothing, absolutely nothing. If we fall right now, it is all over. Bad news bears for soap and this particular adventure. So if we do happen to in this first episode, I will probably not be showing it to you, but so far we're not doing too badly at all. So what we're going to do is just kind of expand this platform a bit so as to give us a little bit more stable footing. And we've got one piece of dirt, all right? So we're going to have to essentially make everything come out from that. So I'm going to take out these leaves just so I can try and get some more of these saplings. And I know there is vein miner. We're going to be using that a little more extensively here soon. But uh, but yeah, let's let's get some of this going. So we've got a mod in here called Ex Nihilo. It's Latin for of nothing or from nothing. And it lets you do some crazy stuff. I think this is part of it where you can just shift and kind of give a bone meal effect to saplings, which is pretty cool. And then what we're going to do is uh, a little bit of some uh, some vein miner. So that's the, uh, I hope I have this correct. There we go. We got another sapling there. Yep. 
And then what we'll do is another sap or more vein miner like so. Okay. And what we need to do is kind of expand our platform a bit. And while I'm doing that, let's just have a chat. So this is going to be the replacement. So, you know, I said last week, last modded Monday, uh, depending on, I hope I get this all correct in terms of the scheduling. Last Monday was the final episode of FTB Infinity Evolved, and I said I would be replacing it with another modded uh, Minecraft series. And that's what we're doing here with Sky Factory Reloaded, or not Sky Factory Reloaded, I got Mind Factory Reloaded on the brain. But, uh, but yeah, we're going to be doing a Sky Factory. Now, I had been thinking of doing, uh, what's the word? Project Ozone. I've been watching Dolan play that and some of the FTOG people as well. And that looked really interesting. I got to say, I, I was interested in that. But then I saw this come out and I figured, you know what? We can uh, continue. We can just do what we were intending on doing on this mod pack. And I like this one a little bit better. It has Draconic Evolution, which Project Ozone does as well. Uh, do we need a shovel? We don't really need a shovel, but a wooden axe would be good. And anything else at the moment? Let's just look through the standard achievement tree. I should have this down pat by now. Okay, so we don't quite have a furnace. Uh, we can't do cobblestone yet, so we can't do upgrades or anything like that. Time to farm, maybe we'll do that one as well. So, um, the one thing that sold me on this pack versus, say, Project Ozone is that it also has Steve's Factory Manager. And I really like Steve's Factory Manager. And I had been hoping to be able to use that one. Did I get any other saplings? I think I just replaced essentially just one. And we gotta get some food online here too. And uh, yeah, we'll just place another sapling there. And what we're going to do is maybe make some more of these slabs. So right now it's just a matter of getting, getting some initial uh, safety, if you will. And what we're going to do is go out four, and then we'll leave a spot. Well, I'm not actually going to leave a spot. We're going to get a spot ready for some dirt because you can make dirt in here. That's one of the features of the X Nilo mod. What we're going to do is put a piece of dirt on this side right here, which is currently void. And we're going to do the same thing over here on this side. So again, right now it's just a matter of making things safe. But, um, but yeah, what we're going to do is kind of work through this. If it seems somewhat similar to my survival island single player, uh, perhaps at the beginning it is going to be like that, but that's just the name of the game right now. We are surviving. We've got very little in terms of materials, so uh, we're going to have to work through this and make make do. So the the first big stuff you got to get done is get some of this, this wood online and nope, no, let's go vein miner. Very good. Any apples? No apples yet. That's somewhat problematic. How about this? Let's go. Okay. And it's having a bit of an issue throwing all that stuff all over the place. But, yep, there we go. This is going to be the name of the game. It's just this shift, shift to grow really quickly. And then vein mining. There. Oh, almost lost that one. Did we get another sapling? No, we didn't get another sapling, and that's fine. We'll be we'll be all right with that. All right, so now what we need to do is work on the next next thing, and we'll get we'll get that sapling going. What we're gonna do is make some or make a couple of barrels, and we want the X Neolo barrels because we need to start making some dirt. So we're just gonna get. Uh, maybe we'll get a couple of those for now and as we get more oak wood going then we'll we'll start building that out but right now what we'll do is just put this right next to 
Okay. Next to our our growth area. Oh, and I lost that one. And what you can do is actually put saplings in there like that. Okay, I hope I get another sapling out of this. That would be problematic if I did not. Uh, let's see. No, no, how about like that? Good. Okay, so I got one. That's that's a good thing. I think I'll wait until I have multiple saplings before I chuck them all into the barrel. But once we get eight in there, then it'll start composting and then we can get some dirt. And you'll see how that goes. But um, but yeah, this is going to be the name of the game to start. Let's see anything else on my list here. So what you're probably going to see is that I'm going to be, uh, what's the word, batch recording this. So if it seems that I am not responding to comments or I'm not incorporating suggestions, uh, it's not because I haven't seen them. I usually respond down below the video pretty quickly but in terms of the videos it does actually take me a while to get through my recorded footage mostly because I like to have a decent backlog going on the channel to make sure I've got that in place especially right now because we are working on a fence I think I've told you that um, or at least said that elsewhere on the channel I have not said that here but, uh, but yeah so we've got that fence project going which is taking decent amount of my time and and will for the foreseeable future and it's always good to have that backlog going behind the scenes so this is going to be what we do you you see this it it might be kind of boring we haven't gotten a big tree yet either and we should have plenty of saplings to go right now all right so we'll throw in eight and you see that it's now composting and we'll just let that go and we'll throw in eight for here as well. And that's gonna get us some dirt so we can expand our tree farm a bit. And that, again, that's from the Ex Nihilo mod, which lets you make stuff out of nothing. Okay, so uh, we're gonna be using that a lot here in the beginning and eventually working our way to some of the other mods. But for now, this is our survival and uh, let's see, we're down two hunger haunches. That's fine. Let's see, any other points of note? Uh, we've got over that's over 150 mods in this thing. And, well, let's see. Yep, I chose this one for Steve's Factory Manager. There's something with Draconic Evolution in Steve's Factory Manager that I really want to try out. I could have done it. There we go. We've got... One of those trees. I could have done it in FTB Infinity Evolved and I lost that apple and most of those saplings. So maybe we need to work on getting a bigger platform here. And what we'll do is knock this tree down. Plenty of logs out of that one. Good, good, good. And there we go. Oh, that took a lot of hunger down. So maybe we'll eat some of the apples that we've got in a place here um well that's that's pretty much it what i wanted to tell you for this one we're going to be doing a lot of this off camera just so that when we come back we'll get into some of the more interesting early game stuff but i'm going to have to do this and i'll just take care of expanding our tree farm and next time we're together we'll get into maybe working on some better tools in particular we need a better pickaxe and we need a furnace and then we're also going to play around with making water so we need to get to uh, the ex nihilo version of making cobble and then what we'll be doing is working on a better better cobble gen for later so uh, we'll let's take a look at the quest book or the achievement book so far and let's see we have not used a crook yet we have made dirt by composting saplings awesome and we don't quite have enough space yet oh you know what we can expand our our uh, platform a bit here uh, you know what let's just do that for now and we'll go out one two three four and we'll put 
this piece of dirt right like so and then we'll just surround this with some slabs and we'll do the same thing on the other side of our central area so that we'll be in the center and we'll reduce the chances of mobs spawning on our tree farm okay so go like so and then we'll put a sapling down on this and that's our tree farm we're kind of just expanding it out more and more the same so we're going to put four in between each one four four blocks because that's about how far those leaves can touch and we can still use vein miner but there we go we got that one in place how about over here we got four no that's three so we'll go out one more and then drop another another piece of dirt and then yeah so i'm just going to keep doing this for uh for the remainder of our time off camera or well i'm going to do it off camera and then next episode we'll get into using silkworms getting some string and then seeing about making some cobblestone so yeah anyway hopefully you have enjoyed if you did a like is always appreciated if you're excited about a new mod pack coming to the channel for replacing ftb infinity evolved thumbs up for that and if there are any mods in that list that you'd like me to take a closer look at do let me know i'd love to hear uh, hear that the the other upside to doing this one versus say an hqm pack is that there's some mods that I just don't care for. I've said before, I don't like magic mods. I want to stay away from those. And not all of you enjoy magic mods either. So, so I want to make sure that we, uh, we're, we're trying to cater as much as possible to everybody. And so we're going to be focusing primarily on the tech mods. Can we do that? Yes, we got all of them. And we got tons of saplings now as a result so now we can avoid the magic mods a little bit more easily with this setup and you know in case we need to get into something like Batania we will um, but you know I'll just I'll just let you know ahead of time I'll, I'll make sure to make a note in the title or on on the um, on the thumbnail that it is a magic mod heavy heavy episode but for the most part we're going to try and avoid those so anyway that's just uh, just to let you know what to expect and again this is going to be for modded monday and and yeah so i think we've covered everything next time we're going to get to silkworms and cobblestone and that's going to be it for now thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next one